Hi, everyone. Welcome to the next Short Attention Span webinar. Today, Katie, Katie, listen to me, Kelly, <laughs> we're going to talk about knowing someone's name and not screwing it up. No. <laughs> we're going to talk about overcoming the BA. Kelly, what's the BA? Uh, bachelor of uh, Aggressive Behavior. No, bad no. attitude. Bad, bad attitude. I just wouldn't even know that because I've never had a bad attitude in my life. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you should put Kelly on. Maybe I am talking to Katie. <laughs> no, the BA is the bad attitude. This is when you've got that, that cloud over your head. And anybody who's got a teenager or has had teenagers knows what I am talking about. It's that perpetual doom and gloom of always seeing the negative. And, and this might be a temporary thing, might be a permanent thing. But, you know, you could have a sales slump going on. And, you know, you're, you're just down. Slumps can last, in baseball, it can last three or four games up until two or three weeks. Well, same thing in sales. You can go two or three months, and it's very difficult to have that peppy, perky, upbeat, up with people kind of attitude that it takes to be successful. So you might also be frustrated because you lost an account due to no fault of your own. The client has moved out or... They're, they're now, they're doing business with someone else in your office because that person has a personal relationship that you didn't have, and you're like, wow, what happened? Uh, or maybe you're concerned you're buying into the conversation that print is dead, and you're, you're believing this, and that's why people aren't picking up the phone. But whatever it is, beating the bad attitude is a process. Uh, Kelly, what's the difference between, we, we, you've all heard, you know, fake it till you make it. Can I, what's the difference between faking it till I'm making it and actually being fake? Because those are two different things. What's the difference? Yeah, I mean, honestly, fake it, faking it is just putting on a smile, you know, just stretching a little bit to say, I know that if I make calls in my current condition, um, it's not going to go well because people are going to hear it in my voice. So I'm going to pretend, I'm going to tell myself a story that I'm actually in a really good mood and I'm happy because I have to make these calls today. So um, that's a lot different than not believing that something is, is really true. I mean, there's an authenticity. You know, you know that you have the capacity to be happy and you know that you have the capacity to be a positive person. You're just, you know, you're just having to put it on a little bit. I'm actually reading um, the, fa the CEO of Facebook wrote a book called Lean In. It's all about women in leadership, and she has a whole chapter on this. Um, you know, which is a little bit more about, you know, taking risks and things like that. But there really is something to, um, you know, again, putting a smile on your face, adding that little lilt to your voice, um, because otherwise you're not going to get anywhere good. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think you've got to have a lot of faith. You've got to have faith that if you're doing X, X is basically your job. Now, if you're in sales, you've got to believe, you have to believe that if you are making a quality sales call, a quality sales call, a, a well-researched sales call on your target market, you're doing it diligently. You're following a process. If you're doing those things, calling on the right person, saying something of value, doing it diligently, doing it with a process, that why is going to happen and why is success? That you will get appointments, you will get good looks at things, you will solve problems, you will pick up business, it will be profitable, they will stick with you. You simply have to believe that. Every single day you have to believe that. Now, if you're going around grumbling, I, I, I've got the, this uh, third bullet point, Kelly, is, is uh, on, the, uh, it's on my cork board with a lot of other sayings that I've got. It says, if you don't like your job, quit. Otherwise, shut up. <laughs> and my, my mom would probably wash my mouth out. She hated it when we said shut up when we were kids. But the point <laughs> is here that you don't want to be a complainer. You know, if something's going wrong, have your little, your little, you know, fit and then move on. Okay, don't sit around and talk about this and that and how everything is, is terrible. Beating the bad attitude is just the opposite. There was a book that was written by Napoleon Hill called uh, Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. And, and I have this on, on my iPhone, I've got it in my car. And this is just something that I pop in when I'm really feeling down, this is something I pop and I listen to about five or ten minutes of it, and it's just a bunch of success stories. Uh, it's like a, a Paul Harvey kind of thing over and over again. You're hearing these great little success stories. And you get back to fake it till you make it. Kelly, you hear these stories, and they become real. They become, wow, I could really do that. Yep. You know, 
what's your what's your remedy for being in a bad attitude? You just well, you know, I, I've been seeing this a lot with my customers lately, and it's it's amazing how fast something can switch when they're just surrounded by somebody that's positive. I've got one guy who's a real doom and gloom guy, but when I start when I start reinforcing for him what he has accomplished and what is good, and reminding him that he has brought in new accounts and he's gotten a bunch of new appointments and stuff like that. It's like his whole body and his whole bearing just shifts back into, um, you know, the right frame of mind. And so if you're in a situation where you're isolated or you don't have any positive coworkers, you know, that's going to be, it's going to make it even harder. So if there's any possible way you can find somebody to be a cheerleader for you, you know, to, to encourage you and boost you up, whether that's a coworker or a family member or somebody that's going to remind you of all the good things you've done, or maybe you need to make that inventory yourself um, to take an inventory of what you have accomplished and what's good about what you've done, um, you know, should kind of help you turn it around and remind yourself that you're, you're in this for a reason. And, and as you said in the second bullet point, Bill, you know, with, when all those other circumstances are in place, you will be successful. It's just a matter of time. You know, I get this phone call from both salespeople and their managers or presidents or whatever, and they say, Bill, my rep is not performing. And I run through the checklist. Okay. Is she working hard enough? Is she killing herself trying? That's my number one. Always my number one. Number two, is she calling on her target market? Number three, is she, uh, or obviously, or he, making a quality sales call, or is he just selling print? Is, is a process being followed, and is he being diligent about it? Those are my checklists right there. Mm -hmm. Every single time, over and over again. You know, it's okay to fail, but don't fail unless you bring, you're trying your absolute hardest. You've got to believe. You've got to have that faith. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm right there with Kelly. In fact, Kelly's one of my go-to people. I call up and say, oh, this is what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, Kelly gives me that electronic slap from 1,200 miles away, whatever we are <laughs> Kelly. So, all right. Well, you know what? This is especially prevalent going into the summer because during that summer slowdown, all of these little things are going to creep into your head. So, I know we've been warning you now for a couple of months that you'd better get on it. Um, this is going to be released, uh, let's see, uh, the 20th, 20th, I think, right? Mm. 18, 19, no, 21st. This is going to come out the 21st. Okay. So we're kind of going into that, that period, um, keeping that attitude up. And if you, if you need some help, then call one of those two people at the bottom. We'll be happy to uh, get you looking in the right direction. We will indeed. All right, all right then, Sunshine. Thank you very much. Thanks, Bill. And we'll talk to you all again on another Short Attention Span webinar.